So, um, okay, what I do, I'll explain to everybody, is I'll just close my eyes and I just go through a little thing in my head which allows me as Blair to vacate the body. And then uh, it doesn't take long. It takes up to 20 seconds. So it's, it's a quite a short transition. And then Tabash starts coming through and um, I'm one of those channels who completely leaves my body. So Tabash will engage 100% with my body. He'll use my eyes, he'll use, you know, everything. So, but um, yeah, so you can ask some questions or just listen to what he has to say. But um, anyway, I'll talk to you very soon. Okay, bye for now. <clears throat> Hello, how are you? Hello, Tabash. Hi, nice Tabash. To... Hello, Geraldine. Nice to see you. It's a pleasure to, uh, to talk to you. I'm very excited about having an opportunity to talk to, you know, once again, people in, in America. And always remember that you're all putting out a call all the time. You know, a mind one, a body one, a spirit one. And as you put that call out, then it's like, it's like throwing a net out to go fishing. And, and when you throw that net out, you know, you're going to pull it back in. And sometimes you might get some stuff you have to throw back. And, and, and other times you think, oh, maybe that's got to you. I've never seen that before, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what I can do with that. And other times it's like, that's exactly, you know, what I need at this particular point. And, and so in human nature at this point, what you're doing is that you're creating this, um, I'm going to call it a new environment. And a new environment is an environment that's made up of lots and lots of components. And so if you think about it from this point, everything has an environment. You have intellectual environment, spiritual environment. People are an environment. Feelings are environments. You have your internal environments, your external environments. We believe that this is a time where it's very necessary to be very conscious of the environments that you yourself are creating for yourself. For each environment will carry a vibration. And if that vibration is in harmony with who you are, then you will get the best of that environment. And so if you look at the structure of humanity at this point, you're needing to be very specific about your collective environment because it's that collectivity that defines outcomes. So if you look at your individual roads that you're traveling, relationship environments, your work environments, all those sorts of things, if you have them nice and even and everything is productive for you, then what you're creating is a collaboration of the vibration of those environments. For the sake of the teaching, imagine it's like each environment is like a disc and the disc is spinning and its vibration is in harmony with all the other environments. Because the energy is in harmony, it establishes a link with all the other environments. And so therefore they are feeding each other in a complementary fashion. So the collaboration establishes a collectivity which supports your life. So when you are involved in environments that are in harmony, your life will be highly supported and then you will get a result. If, for instance, you're involved in an environment that is no longer productive to you, Imagine one of those environments suddenly shuts off. So the link, there's a missing link there, you see. So what happens that the energy goes around, well, it stops, falls. And then this is how issues are created. This is how problems are created. Now, the interesting thing about environments is when it comes in one's regard to approaching them, you don't necessarily have to alter the environment or, or get rid of the environment. 
You know, what you do is that sometimes you can reorganize an environment. I've talked to couples who come to see me with um, relationship counseling, and, and they've been in the firm belief that they have to separate, they have to part. <clears throat> and one of the first things I've said is, do you believe it's productive for both of you to actually change the environment before you actually get rid of it? And they thought, oh, I hadn't thought about it from that point. It's like re reorganizing the furniture in the living room to give you a different look. And I think we've got, you know, sometimes people put themselves through unnecessary change and, 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 and alter things too dramatically or go through stuff they do not need to, where all they needed to do was change the furniture around. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and it's like, oh, yeah, that looks much better there. I, I never thought I could feel that way from that perspective or that. It's like you just put a new light onto the, onto the situation. Okay, there are definitely situations where that environment definitely has to go. And, and, and yet what you do is that you can't have a gap. You always have to establish, you know, the environments that work for you. So, you know, my challenge to, to all of you is, is to look consciously at your environments, the way you think, the way you feel, the way you live, how you're positioning yourself. You know, each day, just each day, you know, and each day consider, okay, what are the environments that I'm participating in? Do these work for me? And, and you know, don't freak out about it. Just stand still and think, okay, hang on a minute. What's the simplest thing I can do? Everyone gets into such a hoo-ha about everything. <laughs> and and so, so you have to just stand still and, you know, think about what Blair was going on about before, which was, you know, your gods. You already have the answers. So when you stand still, then it's like, oh, what the God of me do here? And, and okay, obviously, you want to make sure that you're observing what your environments are, but participating in them, but also... Where is this taking me? Am I happy about where I'm standing? And if you're not, then again, it doesn't mean you got to sign up for 600 seminars. You know, it's, it's more a matter of, you know, one is enough. And, and so, so it's about, you know, one in San Francisco is enough. And so, <laughs> that's all you need. <laughs> so you just stand firm in your position. And, and, and then from that place, listen to what life is saying to you. And when it talks to you, once it said what it's needed to say, it won't need to say that anymore. So know when to put things down. When Blair was driving up to CK the other day, and he was sort of thinking, I'm sick of driving up here every day. But then he looked up on this building, and there was a sign that said, lighten up. <laughs> and he burst out laughing, so he automatically lit up. When he was driving home, he looked to see the sign. It wasn't even there. Mm. So it was there when he needed it, but when wow. he didn't need it, it was Yeah, yeah. And that's where life is like that sometimes. Think about, you know, you people have often gone back to find something that made you happy, but it wasn't there anymore. Or, or a situation, or an event, or, or whatever. And suddenly it's just they're gone. And, and 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 so because that was for that moment, for that situation. And and you know, your aim is to always stay clear, stand still, stay clear, keep the keep the page clear. And 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 then you know you 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 do what you can when you need to do it. You know, you don't have to store it all up too much, you know, you don't have to shop for all of life for the rest of your life. You know, you, you, your house isn't big enough for that much. You know, you have to just take on board what, what is necessary just for the day. You know, uh, Blair's mate goes into his fridge the other day, opens it, and Blair has nothing in his fridge apart from, you know, the, uh, the odd little essentials, you know. And then it's sort of looking like, there's nothing in your fridge. And Blair goes, oh, it's because I'm... Well, I need it. So, so I don't need to store a whole lot of stuff up. And, and then Blair said, well, that's how I try, try to live my life. You know, when I need it, I'll get it. This is shoes, actually, but that's a whole different story. <laughs> and so, <laughs> but, but, you know, it, 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 it's about allowing yourself to recognize, keep it easy, keep it simple. You know, allow yourself to just 
take what's necessary, but you don't have to store stuff up too much. Which, and people do that not just with things, but they do that with thoughts. They do that with feelings. And they do that with people, you know? And, and they, you know, I'll get around to that. I'll just keep it over there for a while. You know, I'll buy that just in case it might be useful to me. You know, that sort of stuff. Or hold on to that because I might need it. 30 years later, it's still hanging in your wardrobe and you've never worn it. And, and so, so it's, it's literally about, you know, what am I doing? I'm, I'm cluttering my life up with mind stuff, body stuff, spirit stuff even. You know, that's not necessary anymore. I have to go into let stuff be, let stuff go. You know, if it's useful to you, then you use it. But when it's not, then that's where you have to consciously think, is it important for me to put that down and let that go? And if your higher self says yes, then do. If it says, oh, no, hold on to it, then hold on to it. And that could be anything. So what, what, what's happening at this point in human history is... You're, you're, you're letting stuff go. But it's difficult because your human nature is so used to define itself through what you've held on to because you've made an identity out of that. Not just that, you created a security around that. And now it's time to be secure in a different way. And in that different way, it actually evolves you. So you're in a state of evolution within your God nature so you can direct your human nature in much more productive ways. And, and so, so that's why all this stuff that humans are doing now, it's actually all about feeding the God in them, feeding the part of them that, 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 that's, you know, investing in them. You know, you look at the work that both Alba and Geraldine do. It's the same thing. It's showing to people, you know, what, what is truth. And, and, and so therefore, but human nature has to decide what it's going to do with that truth. And, and this is why it's so important for people to investigate the way that they can be God more, as I'll put it. So, anyway, that's all I have to say for the moment. So, Fine. Tabash, nice to Tabash, what can we expect of those who attend this event with you? I would expect nothing of them, <laughs> you know. But I'd like to think that it would be a gathering of, of, of gods because it's not just about the information that we're all passing on. It's about the sharing and, and the, the caring and, and the alignment that will be made by like-minded individuals participating in, in such an event. And so obviously, you know, as, as a person who's participating as much as teaching, I will you know, talk to people about being gone more mm -hmm. and, and, and you know, we'll see what unfolds, but uh, I think people should go. I'm going to go there and I'm going to be God more. I'm going there to, to become God more. And I'm going there to, to also share with others that they can be God more as well. And I think that, you know, it's so important for this planet now to love. And, and, and the love is, 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 is something that, you know, needs to unfold. I mean, just recently in New Zealand, they had this terrorist attack down in Christchurch where some man went and shot 50 people in a mosque. And, and it's quite extraordinary because Kiwi being a small country, New Zealand's a very small country, and, and yet the people are very aligned to supporting their Muslim communities. And, and what, what's happened is just amazing. You know, there's all these amazing vigils and there's a big gathering up the road the other day and it's just all about everyone being together basically see mm -hmm. and I think that in any seminar or event it's all about being together and then because it's never never just about let's go and hear Alba let's go and hear Geraldine let's go and hear Tabash you know it's more let's go and hear ourselves mm -hmm. and let's all speak to each other through our sharing and our conversations and, 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 and whatever, you know, that, it, it, it's what it's all about. It's about the bigger picture. So. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much, Tabash. My pleasure. We'll see you over there. Okay. I'll bring Blair back. Okay. Bye, Geraldine. Okay. Bye. You're, you're just this little picture up there at the moment. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's, it's Bye -bye. Actually, that's all right. You know, when I'm looking at technology, I find that quite quite fascinating, you know. So I got Geraldine on the big picture now, and then I've got me, and then I've got Alvin, the little ones. But isn't that really what everybody is like? 
Yes. You know, when, when you're focusing on something, then that becomes a bigger picture. And then when you don't, then it becomes a little picture, but it's still there. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Great point. Yeah, Great analogy. Is, Zoom you analogy. You want to understand how God works? Look at Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do. <laughs> Well, thank you, Tavash. Okay, I'll bring Leo back. Bye for now. Bye bye. <clears throat> well, that felt longer than five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that. Wow, Pleasure. thank you. That was amazing. Cheers. Thank you. Yes. He's always got a lot to say. So. <clears throat> Very good. Well, thank you for participating with us today, Blair. Um, it's going to be wonderful seeing you in the uh, San Francisco Bay Area and doing this event with you. It's going to be wonderful. Yep. I am 100% agreement. You know, it's going to be great. So, And uh, thank you guys for organizing this. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a special time. So for everybody concerned. So. Thank you oh, so much. much.